Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you a band exercise to improve backswing that's really helped a couple of players recently. Not just improve the backswing, but their transition as well. So hopefully you'll find something here to improve your game. Thanks once again for tuning in. So as I mentioned in the introduction, I've had a couple of players who are actually elite level players looking to improve their transition and through a 3D screen, we went all the way back to setup and backswing being key influencers that would be uh, needed to be shifted a certain way to help them to have more opportunity to improve the transition. And with both players, they had a pattern of a little bit more extension through their spine than I felt would be helpful for them moving into transition. So we looked at ways to incorporate improvements in backswing, reducing the amount of extension through the spine. Now, just a quick point there, it's not that I don't want players to extend through backswing through the spine, it's that towards the top of backswing, they were finding the extra range through just too much extension. So we reduce the amount of extension at the very top of backswing by incorporating a very simple drill with the band. Now, I'm gonna take you through the exercise. All I'd have a player do, so you can see here, I've got a band that's maybe three to four feet long. It's, I would say, medium tension. And what I had the players do was just put a twist in the band, put it around their back, then with the right, then just pushing out on the band in front. I'm, you guys have seen this one before, but I'm not going there today. I'm, I actually had the players to turn their trail hand out, so palm would be out, and the, the crease in their elbow would be facing forward. And then from this position here, I'd actually have them reach with their left hand to a left arm parallel to the ground position. So what I like about this drill is one in the trail arm sitting this way, it's somewhat presetting the structure of the trail arm at the top of backswing. So it's getting the shoulder in right, nice, in a good position. It's getting the scap in the trail side to sit down nicely on the back of the rib cage. A lot of things that we'd look for at the top of backswing to help a player to put a force in a nice way into the handle on the way down. So the trail arm sits in this way. You should be able to feel how that sets the shoulder and the scap against the back of the rib cage. And then with the lead hand, the reach, I find helps to create that push-pull motion that I like to see in the golf swing. So to me, I would define rotate good rotation in the golf swing or rotation in the body, more this motion here. So you can see if I was to stand facing the target here, there's a rotational, let's say, value, if I had a 3D system on now, happening um, because of this push-pull motion. And when we do that motion in the golf swing, it helps us to achieve rotation without having to extend too much, without having to sway too much, drop, um, thrust, all these motions that we see in the golf swing, we tr typically try to reduce to be more accurate with our delivery. If we can have a little bit more of this in many cases with players, it is it improves the blend of all the movements that would lead to a simpler backswing. Okay, so we've got the band on, we've got the trail arm preset, we're reaching with the left arm across, trying to create a good amount of width, one key element I tell to players when they're doing this, just to make sure that there's not too much sway off the ball, is to just allow their right ear to stay just inside their right foot. So try and keep the head just inside the right foot in the backswing there. So that's the motion we're working towards. And you can see in this position here, how the rib cage sits facing the ground behind me, rather than it getting this way. Now for the players that I'm, I'm sharing with you today, the reason why the extension of the top of backswing had a, what I believe a poor influence on transition is because in many cases when I see players get into this extended position, the center of the rib cage is actually moving towards the target in, in the end of the backswing while the pelvis is staying away from the target. So this, the rib cage gets very much starts getting on top of the pelvis, which makes it hard for the lower body to initiate and move freely in the starter downswing. So we're looking more for this kind of a, 
a visual at the top rather than rather than this and that's the that's the objective of the band that's the objective um, of improving the backswing to allow the body to move more freely in the start to downswing so i i personally love this it feels really simple when you do it i know i've put a lot of wording to this i could have really maybe tried to figure out a way to just more visual and um and and not put the the in-depth explanations to this so there we are again we're going to reach we need that that structure there and with a lot of players i encourage them just to do a really good job to that lead arm parallel and backswing so after i've had a good few reps there and i like band exercise in many cases for players because you're not having to describe to them what to do they can put it into their own words the feel once they've done a good job with the movement with the band so for me then when i get set up i can rehearse what that feeling with the band means to me with the club and then play around with a few shots with that one so for i mean again for me it resonates a lot because i focus really hard on just trying to do a good job to here i find that if you do a good job to there and you go so you've got a clear um sensation for your movement pattern down and through the ball that uh that i'm in a good place so just if i can do a good job to lead down parallel I, I feel pretty good going into a round of golf let's see here i mean great for me i i really feel how with the band, I, I get a lot more length across this lead shoulder, across the rib cage here, this lat really lengthening out. And that creates a lot of space between my rib cage and my hands and the, the, the handle on the club. Something that I know is going to benefit me in my swing. Okay, let's hit a few. Yeah, that felt really nice. Really does help me to um, have a more compact backswing. The, 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 the head staying inside the trail foot is also a nice one for me because growing up playing a lot in the wind, I have a tendency sometimes to stay very much on the ball. So the reach and the getting the head in, just in, keeping it inside the trail foot is a nice reference. And that's a great reference for the amount of sway in the golf swing I find for a lot of players. The head just moving just to the instep of the trail foot so again not all players but for a lot of players that's a nice little reference yeah good one there that's it one more with players integrating movement patterns with a band i i often encourage them to just go back and forth at their own pace find a quiet place in the range just to allow them to just digest into internalize what what that means to them and then just figure out if that's something for them that's going to you know apply, they're going to be able to apply to their movement when they're on the golf course as well oh we've got to finish on that one that was so so pure um felt like i moved really well felt like on that last one i actually tied in just nice rhythm with that and rhythm's a great obviously focus when you go and practice anyway i find that if you couple it with something that you're working on it helps you to accelerate your improvement so the band i think great one worth trying go out there play around with it and feel free to comment as well and give me your feedback on the drills whether it's this video or any others that you see i, I love the feedback and always love new ideas for fresh videos